In this question, we're going to consider the graph to the right, and we need to determine where it has a maximum, um, and what that maximum is, and where it has a minimum. Um, so maximum, what they mean here by, it, by maximum is local or um, relative maximum, and that means that it's the highest point in, or lowest point in some local area. Like this point right here, negative 8, 4, that is a local maximum because that's the highest point in that small area. So the function has a maximum. Um, now the maximum is actually 4, and the x value where that maximum is is negative 8. Um, likewise, we have a local minimum at 0, negative 4. So the minimum is actually negative 4 and it's at x equals 0. Alright, increasing, decreasing. I'm going to draw in yellow where it's increasing. So it's increasing all the way up until we get to that maximum and then again after the minimum. And in between the minimum and maximum in green here, it's decreasing. So it's increasing on two intervals, and those are from negative infinity to the point negative 8. And then union, it's de increasing again from 0 to infinity. The function's decreasing in the interval that we haven't described for increasing. So, um, in other words, in between, which is negative 8 to 0. And you never want to use brackets on increasing and decreasing. The domain, it appears that the domain was going to be all real numbers. We can't see uh, what happens to the graph um, past negative 10 and 10, um, but since there aren't points indicating that it ends there, I'm going to assume that it keeps going. Um, and the same with range. The range describes the y values that it encompasses, and since it's going um, up to it seems to just keep on going up. I know that the range at least goes to infinity. And then on the left side here, it appears that it's, you know, I'm going to keep going down to negative infinity. So the same thing, negative infinity to infinity for the range.